There are rainstorms and there are those with the power to rearrange a landscape. But can we expect more of these weather extremes as our planet heats up? Did climate change make this happen? The EU's leader seems convinced of it. It is the intensity and the length of these events um, where science, science tells us this is a clear indication um, of uh, climate change. Europe's floods were caused by the same storm that dumped rain on London in the southeast on Monday. A glancing blow from a weather system that hit the continent with full force. Climate change doesn't cause storms, they're random weather events. But each degree the atmosphere warms, it can hold 7% more water. Climate change makes severe weather more frequent and more extreme. We're becoming more and more sure that we can see these links, these human fingerprints on these types of events. Uh, we know that these slow-moving, really heavy rainfall systems are more likely with climate change. Uh, but we should be very concerned about what we're seeing here. While Western Europe floods, North America burns. Wildfires in California, just one of the hallmarks of extreme heat. In British Columbia in Canada, temperatures reached 49.6 degrees, shattering by 5 degrees a previous temperature record. On Tuesday in California's Death Valley, mercury hit 54 degrees and saw its hottest ever 24-hour period. At the same time, 5,000 miles away in Lapland, it was 33.6 degrees, close to a century-old temperature record. I'm shocked, um, but not surprised, um, and actually a little bit scared about what's coming. So climate scientists like myself have been warning about this for at least two decades now, longer than that, um, and governments haven't acted. Just last month, the UK's Committee on Climate Change warned government it was woefully underprepared for climate extremes that changes to planning rules, building codes and infrastructure schemes were politically unexciting. Perhaps scenes like these in Europe will focus minds on just why they're important. Tom Clark, News at 10.